Hello and welcome back to Chardé Crochets. For this tutorial, we will be doing the first tutorial of my Desert Sands Bikini Collection, which has eight pieces. So this is the first tutorial and we'll be doing the thong in this one. So um, with these pieces, I used two colors for my prototypes, but feel free to just use one color if you want. I'm gonna do two colors in this video. So I'm using white and brown, and these are medium weight for cotton yarns. And then you'll also need an F hook, which is a 3.75 millimeter hook, and then a yarn needle and some scissors. And we'll be going over sizes extra small through 3X, so let's get started. So let's start off by making our foundation chain. Let's make a slip knot and size extra small can chain out 14. Small is 16, medium is 18, large is 20, 1X is 22, 2X will chain out 26, and 3X will chain out 28. And once you chain out your chain, let's start on row one. So for row one, we're going to skip this very first chain and work into this second chain from the hook. We'll be putting a double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we'll be putting one double crochet in every stitch across. So go ahead and put one double crochet in every stitch until the end of the row. Okay, so once you make one double crochet in every chain across, we will chain one and turn our work. And now we're gonna start to decrease. So we're gonna double crochet these two stitches together, the first two stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through two, and don't finish. And then yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through all three. So that's our first double crochet um, decrease. And then from there, we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch across until we have two stitches left. And once you have your two stitches left, we'll do another decrease. All right, and that's what it looks like so far. You can see that it is decreasing there. And then from there, for row three, we'll chain one and turn our work and we're just going to be repeating row two so we're going to put another double crochet decrease or double crochet two together in the first two stitches and then we'll put one double crochet in every stitch across until the end of the row or until we have two stitches left And then when you have your two stitches left, we'll do another decrease. So we're going to continue this decreasing pattern by repeating row two until we have three stitches left in the row. So size extra small, you're going to finish row six. Small will finish seven. Medium is eight. Large is nine. 1x is 10, 2x is 12, and 3x will finish row 13. Okay, so your last row here should have two, two um, double crochet decreases on the outside and one regular double crochet in the middle. And from here, we will chain one and turn our work. So from here, we are going to be putting just one double crochet in every stitch across. So one, 
two and three. And then we're just going to keep repeating that. So chain one and turn. And then we'll be putting one double crochet in every stitch across. So this is the skinny part of the back of the thong. All right, so we are going to continue repeating that row until, for extra small, you're going to continue repeating this row until you finish row 23. Small will finish 25. Medium is 28. Large is 30. 1x will finish 32. 2x is 34. And 3x will finish row 37. All right, so this is what it looks like now. And from here, we're going to begin increasing. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. And in this very first stitch here, we'll be putting two double crochets in the same stitch. And then in that middle stitch, we'll just put one double crochet. And in this last stitch, we'll put two double crochets in the same stitch. Okay, so we're going to be repeating that row. So from here, we'll chain one and turn our work. And from here, we're going to do the same thing. So put two double crochets in this first stitch here. one and two and then we'll be putting one double crochet in all the middle stitches until we have one stitch left and in this last stitch we'll put two double crochets in the same stitch Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is what it looks like now. All right, so once you're done with that row, we're gonna continue repeating this pattern where we put two double crochets in the first and last stitches of the row and just regular in the middle. Um, except, for, um, except for sizes small, extra small, small, and medium, we only needed two of these rows, so we're done with this repeating pattern. But for size large, you're gonna continue until you finish row 33. 1x will finish row 36. 2x is 39, and 3x will finish row 42. And once you're done with those repeats, now we're going to chain one and turn our work. And by the way, size, extra small small and medium you should have seven stitches here a large should have nine one x should have 11 and two and three x should have 13 stitches in this row after you're done with the repeats so from there chain one and turn and then we'll just be putting one double crochet in every stitch across From there we'll chain one and turn our work and we're just going to repeat that row again where we put one double crochet in every stitch. Okay, so we're going to continue this new pattern where we're just putting one double crochet in every stitch across. And for size extra small, 
you're going to continue repeating this pattern until row 30 is finished. Size small will finish row 33, a medium will finish row 36, large will finish row 40, 1x is 43, 2x is 47, and 3x is 50. Okay, so this is what it should look like now. And from here, we now are going to start a two row repeat. So the first row of the repeat, we are going to chain one and turn our work. And then we're going to increase in this first stitch. So we'll put two double crochets into that very first stitch, one and two. And then we'll put one double crochet in every stitch across. until we have one stitch left. And in that very last stitch, we'll do another increase by putting two double crochets in the same stitch. So that's the first row of the repeat. We'll be doing an increase in the first and last stitch. And then the second row of the repeat, we'll chain one and turn our work. And then we'll just put one double crochet in every stitch across. So every other row we're going to do an increase and on the other row we'll just do one double crochet in every stitch. So again, we'll do a chain one and turn our work, and then we'll do an increase in the first stitch, and then we'll do one double crochet in every stitch across. until we have one stitch left and then we'll put two double crochets in that last stitch chain one and turn and then we'll just put one double crochet in every stitch across so we're going to keep repeating this pattern Okay, let's see. So we're going to keep repeating those two rows until for size extra small. You're going to continue until you finish row 43. A small will do row 47. Medium is 53. Large is 60. 1x is 66. 2x will finish row 70. And 3x will finish row 75. So go ahead and continue repeating these two rows and I'll meet you there. So this is what it looks like now after you finish your repeats. So from here, you can either um, continue the border with your working yarn or you can do a color change. So um, if you wanna do a color change, go ahead and fasten off here and grab your new color. If not, just keep working with the same yarn. So I've got my next color here. I'm just going to insert my hook into this corner stitch and reattach my yarn to the corner. And I'll put a double knot on the side. So I'm kind of putting it on the side of this fasten off knot so I can crochet over both of both of these tails. Or if you're with the same yarn, just continue working. So pull up a loop if you change colors, and everyone should now chain one and turn their work. 
Okay, so in this very first stitch, we're gonna put two double crochet, uh, two single crochets, sorry, two single crochets in this very first stitch, and I'm trying to make sure that that knot gets hidden. So two single crochets in that first stitch, and then from there we'll put one single crochet in every stitch across until we get to have one stitch left. All right, and so when you have one stitch left in your row, in that last stitch, you'll put two, uh, I'm sorry, three single crochets in that last stitch. So that way we can round off this corner. One, two, and three. All right, so we're gonna turn our work to work along the sides of these rows. And in the side of every row, you're going to want to put two single crochets in the side of every double crochet row. So here, you'll want to, and that doesn't include this, um, this corner stitch here. So you'll want to try to get two single crochets in the side of every double crochet row. And if you find your the spots that you kind of want to put your double cro your single crochets in and you keep putting them in that same spot you'll kind of have a unified stitch look there so anyway continue working along the sides of rows putting two single crochets in the side of every double crochet row and we're going to make our way all the way around to the back. And once you get to the back, when you get to this corner uh, chain, this is the foundation chain. But when you get to this corner here, you're going to want to put three single crochets in that corner. And then one single crochet in every chain across. When you get here, you'll want to put three, three in that corner. And then you'll turn to work along the sides of rows again. So once you do this again, you'll be putting two single crochets in the side of every double crochet row until you reach this top corner again. So make your way all the way around the bikini and I'll meet you there. All right, so when you make your way all the way around, what you're going to do is you're going to put one more single crochet, sorry, one more single crochet into this corner stitch because every corner stitch has three and we already put two in there. So from there, you're just going to slip stitch into the very first single crochet of the round and then chain one and fasten off. And that's what it looks like now. So we just finished our border and now we have to do the ties. So I'm just going to set aside our bikini for now and we'll start the ties. So take a new strand of yarn, make a slip knot. We'll start off by chaining out our chain. So extra small can chain 90, small is 100, medium is 110. Large is 120, 1x is 130, 2x is 145, and 3x is 155. And once you chain out your chain for your size, we're going to grab our bikini again. Make sure you're going to work on the front side and not the inside of your border. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to find that middle, I keep going over there, that middle stitch here, so there's a middle stitch that's in that corner. We want to work into the stitch that is one stitch away from that middle stitch. So insert your hook into, into that stitch that's right before that middle stitch. Pull up a loop and single crochet. And then we'll put one more single crochet in the next two of the corner stitches. So one and two 
So that's what it looks like. And then from there, we're just going to chain out the same chain. So it was 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 145, or 155. All right, so once you chain out your next chain for your size, we're just gonna fasten that one off. Okay, so we have two strands coming out of this side. So you're gonna do the same thing. Just start one stitch when you do your first single crochet. Just do one stitch before that corner stitch and then put two more so that you're just hitting the three in the corner. And we'll do that on the rest of the three sides all right so you're just gonna go ahead and repeat that for all four ties and then you should just have a couple of strings to cut that you crocheted over and you only have one tail to weave in at the end so that is the full tutorial i'm probably gonna put some tassels at the bottom of this to make them more attractive for sewing but that is all, and I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment if you like this video. And I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!